Hello my friends, welcome to Prime Strings. I'm Henriette and today is day three of the virtual violin practice play along. I'm so glad to see you here. Today we will be continuing with the same pattern as we've had in our previous lesson. So we'll do some bowing exercises, some left hand exercises. We will be doing a scale and then we will finish with some uh, improvisation and we'll take it a step further because this is a new week and we are going to just develop that improvisation a bit further along the lines of your progress. So let's go ahead and let's get started. we stand while we play the violin and what I'd like you to explore today is how it feels when you stand with your left foot slightly forward and this way you can rock forwards and backwards a little bit on your feet and your back stays straight because what we don't want to do is to sway from left to right when you play the violin so go go ahead and step forward with your left foot a little bit and you can imagine how this foot supports the violin which is also on your left hand side of your body so that is why we pick our left hand and we'll move in this direction now I'm not saying you're going to have to move while you play all the time but we just want some flexibility in your legs like that so if you practice that with me just go through your knees a little bit so that you're absolutely sure that you haven't locked your knees Whilst we're doing that, let's explore the sound on your open strings. So we're going to start by playing four times a long G, four times a long D, A and E and then E, A, D, G. We'll go back four times each note. So here we go. And... <laughs> video how that's gentle rocking how that feels and if you think it affects your sound at all now when we're playing um, those open strings I would like you now to start to stretch your bow arm forwards a little bit more 
we know that when we move our arm sideways rather than forward, the point of the bow will slip across the fingerboard and that's not where we want it to go. We want to stretch our arm forward, like that, so that the point of your bow is still close to the bridge and the bridge of course is this wooden thing here. So you can achieve that by stretching your bow arm forward so it is in front of you when you finish it. So when you stretch that bow arm you should finish about there and not somewhere to your side you see. So let's play the same exercise again. Step forward with your left foot and make sure that your knees aren't locked. Take a deep breath and now we're going to stretch our bow arm forwards. Four times every note, make your bows really long and as long as you can. technique a little bit more and you may remember that we started off by having your finger line level with the E string and then in our last lesson we were swinging our elbow like this. So your upper arm is really nice and flexible and you can open your shoulder joint there and that is a very very good skill to have when you play the violin. Today I want you to extend what you're doing a little bit and you might want to put your bow down for a moment so that you can fully focus on your left hand and perhaps hold the violin here. So we're going to start with our finger line again, your thumb is just peeking over the edge and now we're going to place our first finger on the B, the first finger on the A string and we're going to do that same elbow swing that we've done in the past but this time Whenever you swing your elbow underneath the violin, I would like you to move your finger up and to see how high you can reach. And now I'm swinging my elbow back and my finger comes back. So swing your elbow under, slide your finger up. Now swing your elbow back again and slide your finger down. Up, elbow under, elbow out and your finger slides back. There we go. Do it slowly because for some that is really difficult to find that movement. So I'll talk you through again. Swing your elbow under, slide your finger up as high as you can. If you even go up to there, that's absolutely fine for today. We will come back to this exercise many times, I promise you. So don't worry if you find that extremely difficult today because that is what it is. Okay, so swing your elbow under, slide your finger up. Swing your elbow back and your finger comes down. Swing your elbow under, move your finger back. Swing your elbow under the violin, slide up. Swing your elbow back, come back there. Wow, do it one more time. Up and back. Okay, one more for luck. There we go. Up and back. Smashing. Now, if you have got a very tired arm now, that's okay, because that is new. Your arm's probably never done that before. So that's fine. Give it a little bit of a swing so that you relax your, your left arm. 
and when you feel better we'll pick up the bow again and today we're going to do another exercise which I'm not sure if you've ever done it before this is also quite a bit of brain gym so let's go ahead and let's see what that's like I'm going to play alternately at the point of the bow and at the heel of the bow and we're not so much playing as just touching the bow and giving it very very short bow strokes let's go and play on the D string shall we and now let's set your bow at the point of the bow we've done this part before but now I want you to go a little bit away from the point of the bow and play a little down bow here so that you get to the very point of the bow and now we're going to go onto the D string right at the heel of the bow and we'll do a little up bow here so your bow strokes are only very short, about this long. And you need to start it a little bit away from either end of the bow. So I'm going to play a down bow at the point. So I'm starting, I'm not going to go right to the point, you see. But I'm starting a little bit away from the point so I can play a little down bow. And now I'm going to the heel of the bow. Stay a little bit away from the heel and we're playing a little up bow. And let's do that again. Down bow at the point. Do it slowly, so you can get your head around this. Up bow at the heel. Down bow at the point. Up bow at the heel. There, one more time. Down bow at the point. Up bow at the heel. Wow, that's very good bow control. So this is one of those exercises that has very little to do with your everyday playing. But if you get very good at this exercise, you will be very good at controlling your bow. So it will have an effect on all the pieces that you play, you see? So that's why we're doing this exercise. Now, our next moment in this lesson is going to be playing a scale, and we're going to play an A scale today. So if you're an advanced player, pick an A major or an A minor scale, one that you have been doing most recently with your own teacher or one that is in your exam preparation list if you if you that is what you're doing um, so do it do your own version of this a major or minor scale when you are not as far advanced we are going to play an a major scale just in the first position together so you can join in with me if you don't know how it goes there is a separate video on the A major scale and the A major arpeggio, so you can watch that as well. But I will talk you through right here. We are going to play every note of the scale twice with long bows. And we're going to start on the A string. And we're going to go up one finger after another. There is the top note of my A scale, the third finger on the E string. And now we're just going to add a fourth finger to give that pinky a little bit of extra practice. Okay, here we go. After two. One, two. that you leave your bow on the string all the time so you're trying not to lift the bow up like that but your bow stays in contact with the string as soon as you put your bow down on the string 
at the start of this scale you leave your bow down until you've finished right at the end of this scale so that's what we're going to practice if you are already doing that fantastic that's great and if, if that's you I want you to listen out to, to you don't jerk your bow at either end of the bow so like this so be careful that you round off every bow stroke and then start the next one and don't start it with an accent let's do that again shall we after two one two next and I'm going to use long bows on every note I'm playing every note once and once we've gone through the whole arpeggio we'll play it over once again with a repeat now before we play the arpeggio let's just check over your bow hold because we want to improve on that every day of the week so check it over and see if you've got your thumb in the right position if it's nicely bent if you've got a gap between your index finger and middle finger and also your ring finger and your pinky and then um, my last question is if your pinky is bent on the side edge there at the same time do make that little step forward with your left foot so we add that to your playing as well after three one two three now in your technique that it is progressing beautifully now one more time we'll play the arpeggio and this time I want you to listen to the tuning and I want you to accept no less than absolutely perfect intonation so if you play a note that's not quite matching mine can you improve on it right there and then one two three now shall we and we're going to start by improvising as we have left off in day two so we're going to play some different strings and I'd like you to listen out very carefully which strings exactly I am playing so we're starting easy today and then we'll make it a little bit harder let me think of one Can you 
copy that. So if you've done it correctly, it should have sounded like this. <laughs> Very good. So you're back into your routine of things. Now this time I would like you to listen very carefully. I'm going to count one, two, three and four. So all together I'm going to play four counts. And what I'd like you to do is after my four counts, chip in with your response straight away so that there isn't a break between my playing and your playing. So let's see if we can do that. Uh, we'll keep the notes fairly simple for you to get used to that, okay? So listen carefully. Let's do that again. So you can probably hear that this melody is now going to continue and I think that's quite fun because I'm here in my room in Norwich and you are wherever you are in the world and this melody keeps going. Isn't that awesome? I think that is weird. Okay, so now I'm going to play you again four counts and I'm making it slightly more difficult. I'm going to use a finger, okay? I'm still counting for four. Did you manage that? That was very, very clever if you did. Let's think of another one, shall we? And let's do the same thing. So we'll let the rhythm continue. So we're not stopping in between my playing and your playing, and then again your playing and my playing. We're just going to make this a continuous thing, okay? Listen carefully, because I'm still counting four counts, but I'm using different strings and maybe also different fingers. Last one. If you've made that, that is a really, really good progress with your uh, improvisation. If you didn't quite make it today, it doesn't really matter. You have still upped your game compared with 
the last lesson, so well done for that. And as we progress, we'll try it again tomorrow, shall we? And you'll find that gradually a bit easier. Remember, it's only three days ago that you've started doing some improvisation, so um, it's not that long yet, and it's already getting a little bit more challenging. So give yourself some time to get used to it. Now, well done for making such good progress with your playing. I very much hope that you will now pick up your normal violin related stuff, so the pieces that you play with your own teacher. I know that last in the last couple of lessons we've said pick your most challenging one and pick your favourite one. Now I'm asking you today to play everything that your teacher has set you. So get your notebook out and read the points one by one and see if you can manage that. Your playing is lovely and warmed up. You have reviewed all of your techniques now, a bit of bone technique, a bit of left hand technique. So you're ready to find your normal music a little bit easier. So go ahead, good luck with that and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Goodbye.